Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Deja, three A's, not one that Christian girl. Okay, so as you can see by the title, I have a little bit of, as you can see by the title, I'm gonna show y'all all of my Christian books. So I'm gonna show you all my Christian books and I'm going to explain them, okay? So let me go get my books really quick. Oh, okay, so we're gonna go in order. Whichever one I grab first. I don't have too much, but I have a good amount that it's a collection. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to get me a book shelf. We're gonna start with Joyce Meyer collection. And if you don't know, like I said, my name is Deja. If you don't know me already, you can check the link in the description below. And I have a website, a ministry for women, all of that. And my website has an about me page. If you wanna check that out, and you can pretty much get to know, get to know me like that. Okay, but if you do know me, if you've been following me for a while now, if you've been subscribed, you've been you've been listening to the podcast, you follow me on TikTok, on Instagram, daughters underscore underscore of the king. Um, if you follow me on all those places, welcome back. Okay, welcome back to another video and another episode. All right, so the first collection, the first book is Joyce Meyer. This book is called Closer to God Each Day. And I'm gonna show you like, I'm, I'm gonna show you like how the book consists of. So this is a devotional, it's for everyday living. It helps you get closer to God. Sometimes I go in this, you know, it like, it's pretty self-explanatory. If I know I'm trying to get closer to God or I need something that's gonna pull me closer to the Lord, I go to this book right here. And this is kind of what it looks like. So it has the date at the top. So it says May 14th, put this to the side. So now we have Joyce Meyer, Power Thoughts. I like this book when I need to, like I was just talking about, like speaking life of yourself. I like this book when I want to speak life of myself pretty much. When I want to change my thoughts, when I need some encouraging, encouragement. And like I said, it got the same format. Um, it got the same looking format. And yeah, that's Power Thoughts by Joyce Meyer. If I'm going through this kind of fast, it's because like, I don't know, the book is pretty self-explanatory and it has the description on the back. I'm just gonna start reading the description on the, on the back, okay? So y'all can pretty much have a better understanding. So. I know you're probably like, girl, how many Joyce Meyer books do you have? I have a lot. This is the other one. Joyce Meyer devotional. By the way, all of these are devotionals. So I usually just go to the day. Like I said, today's March 4th. So I will go to March 4th in this book. This one's a little thicker. Also like the pages are like better than the other pages. Like, I don't know, like y'all can really tell. On the back of this book, it says, Joyce Meyer offers a path for you to develop a close relationship with God. Written over the period of three years, these encouragements were revealed to Joyce through her own experiences, inspired in her heart to help you get closer to God through your devotional time with him. So yeah, these are perfect for devotional time. These are perfect when I wake up and I need like something to start my day off with. And I have a lot of these because this one is $17 in the US. This one is $17 in the US. All of these are $17, so like they're pretty to me, like that's budget friendly. And the book, like you can keep reading it, like you can keep getting encouraged by it, you can keep like reading it and getting, you know. So another Joyce Meyer book, New Day, New You. I like this book when I had a bad day. <sighs> Maybe you had a bad day the previous day before, and this book just like, okay, it's a new day. It's a new me, okay? And like I said, I like the pages like this because it's just more like easier. 
it's more easy to flip through versus pages like this like i don't know if y'all can tell the difference but this is like more paper and this is more like i don't know i don't know how to explain it i don't know the textures of paper but this one was 17 dollars as well and it says joyce meyer stresses the importance of spending even a few minutes every morning with god beginning each day this way is the opportunity to get off on the right foot to set a positive tone this devotional draws from 19 of her most popular books to provide you with a fresh word from god each day joyce reminds you that god's mercies are new every morning and encourages you to use the daily devotions as a great way to interact with him before you do anything else okay so this is the fifth one from Joyce Meyer, okay? Y'all, I have a lot of her books. I don't know why, like, I just like them. And like, <laughs> these all have 365 devotionals in them. And it's like, girl, it ain't that many, but I just bought them because you never know what encouragement you might need. So this one's for strength. This one's for strength. This one's $18. All right, this one I just recently bought. This is the last devotional, okay? This is this really is for Joyce Meyer. This one was $19. And the only reason why it was $19 is because she just came out with this one in like October. And I really like this one. I've been reading it ever since I got it. So pretty much you can see right here, this whole collection of books from devotional are like helpful when I want to pretty much, um, I want to scoot my camera back. When I want to pretty much, um, like if I need like this, this one was songs. I'm sorry. I didn't like advertise this as well. This one was songs. So if I need to like get some, understand songs on a deeper level, like Joyce Meyer has that, you know what I'm saying? Or um, strength, if I need strength, or new day, new you, power, thoughts, closer to God, my time with God. Some of these I barely touch. I'm not even gonna lie. I buy stuff and I barely use it. But if it comes to conclusion that I need to use it or I want to read it, I will read it. Like it's not something I might not read all of those devotionals every single day, but I definitely, definitely read at least one of these a day. But like I said, I've been reading Psalms. So since we're still on Joyce Meyer, I'm going to show you my other books from her that aren't devotional related. So these are habits of a godly woman. So these just give you how like how to be a woman of God, what a woman of God consists of. And I'm gonna just show you, uh, read you the chapter. So she said, these are habits that a woman of God has. So they read, as a woman of God, you read God's word, God's presence, prayer, faith, gratitude, trusting God, joy, peace, hope, positive thoughts, receiving God's forgiveness. It's giving forgiveness to others enjoy enjoying each day decisiveness um stability releasing your worries generosity confidence simple simplicity i don't know why i couldn't say that serving others contentment excellent discipline self-control and she also has the last chapter she shows eight ways to do to develop godly habit habits okay so like i said this is kind of like what it consists of. She has like a scripture in here. Um, this is like the chapters. Um, this is kind of like what it consists of. So yeah, I got my little cross little thing up there. But yeah, this is Habits of a Godly Woman. So this book is perfect for keeping you in check as a woman of God. Um, Cause there's a lot of things up here that I struggle with. Like extending forgiveness, I struggle with that. Um, decisiveness, I'm very indecisive sometimes. Like sometimes I don't even know how to make a decision. Decision making is a lot. We, as soon as you wake up, you gotta decide what you're gonna eat, what you're gonna wear, da da da. Like it is a process, and I will. I'm indecisive. Okay, so I'm still working on that. 
according to Google, it says it takes like two months or something to build a new habit. So yeah, this book is very good. And I'm not gonna put, disclaimer, I'm not gonna put all the links to these books I have because it's a lot of them. So just please pause, like take a screenshot, whatever. Like I said, this, I will put the book and the, like on the, like the title on the screen just so you know like what book it is but this one is ten dollars this was an easy ten dollars okay so i bought this book matter of fact i'm missing i'm missing a book y'all from georgia some more i went and grabbed some more books but i'm missing one of my books by joyce Meyer. It's called Healing the Soul of a Woman. So I don't know where it is in my house. I'm not about to go find it. But it's called Healing the Soul of a Woman. That was the first book that I got from Joyce Meyer. As I read her story, um, it was so devastating to like read it because she got molested by her father, her own dad, and she got abused as a young child. And her first marriage was a uh, I believe it was abusive as well. And then she met um, her, her now husband or whatnot. And um, God was still working on her. Like even when she was a wife, he was still working on her. I like Joyce Meyer because she's very transparent and authentic and she's not afraid to like share her story or her testimony of what God did. And I just like her story, like her childhood was like very like traumatizing and to see that in a woman, and she's like, I don't know how, like, let me look up. I don't know how old Joyce Meyer is, y'all, but let me look, let me look how old, like, she is. She's 79 years old. So she's been writing books for a long time. So she has so many, like, this is just what I got, but it's so much more in Barnes and Nobles. Um, I like her because, she has so much wisdom from all the things she's been through. Like she has so much wisdom. Let's keep going. So this one is Do It Afraid. I bought this book. I have not finished it. Um, you can see the bookmark like, yeah, I'm halfway. This book, it gives you courage, boldness. Um, I'm gonna show you the chapters. You know, a lot of times we have fear and all this stuff. Like Joyce Meyer talks about all of this. So this is what the chapters are. It has 23 chapters. This is kind of what it consists of. Um, I'm on chapter 13. Um, and I also got this bookmark from Barnes and Noble as well. It says she is clothed. Proverbs 3125. With these two books, first of all, I barely read this book. Like, girl, I just be buying stuff. Like, this is the study guide. I read like some of this book, but I haven't read all of it. Like, I barely made it probably to the fifth chapter. But I would use the study guide and let me see what I used to write in here, y'all. So this is chapter one. And this is the study guide I was writing in of this book. Like I said, I barely made it. But oh, I forgot to tell y'all the title. It's called Authentically You by Joyce Meyer. Love this book. It shows you how to be your authentic self, especially as a Christian living in this world. When the world try to pull and tug on your identity, God is really, really like want you to be your authentic self. This book was, well, the study guide was $13.99. And surprisingly, I don't even see the price of the book. But I'm pretty sure it's a really budgetable price. Yes, we're still on Joyce Meyer. I promise you, I'm trying to hurry up. Um, This is the book I just recently got from Barnes & Noble, literally like a week ago, I think. A couple days ago, $16.99. I had got I got me and my friend the same book because like as a Christian, spiritual warfare starts in your mind and we need to know how to battle like 
like we need to get ready to go in battle like take every thought captive we need to know how to weaponize uh the word of god and to use it to stand against satan so i feel like your mind is such a great place to start because the way you think is it kind of dictates how you act that's why the bible says guard your heart and your mind i'll put the scripture right there the bible says guard your heart and your mind because if you're not guarding your heart like and this is whatever a man thinketh so it is in his heart so whatever you're thinking is like that's what your heart is receiving that's why the bible says guard your heart and your mind because everything that you think is not everything that is true or everything that is for you you know what i'm saying so if you start in your mind i really feel like the devil will have nothing on you if you can win that war in your mind because he be putting thoughts in there your own self be putting thoughts in there it has 25 chapters. I just started reading it. I'm on chapter one. I, I told you I just got it. So this is kind of what it consists of. This is the Everyday Bible by Joyce Meyer. I just got this book as well. And this is what the Bible consists of. It has little devotions in there. Um, it's The print is bigger um, because the Bible that I normally have I highlight it all over it and I write on the side of it because it gives me room to write. This is the She Reads Truth Bible, by the way. So I had got the Joyce Meyer Everyday Bible so I can have a large print. Okay, since we're on the Bible books now, um, I just got this Action Bible. So you're gonna love this. You're gonna love this. It was $32. It has pictures, a visual, of the Bible. It don't have every single thing in the Bible. Like, for example, it don't have Ephesians uh, pictures from Paul because Paul was in prison, first of all. So it's not really what visual will you get except for when he got shipwrecked and got bitten. Um, but yeah, it has different um, the action Bible. I had got this chosen book um, 40 Days with Jesus. If you don't know The Chosen, The Chosen is a series um, about Jesus' life. The best Christian, the best Christian production, the best Christian show ever, okay? And I had stopped reading this because it was kind of like, I'm not gonna lie. I don't, mm, this book, I would say four out of 10. All my books, I said 10 out of 10. This is, I would say four out of 10 because it is very like, kind confusing okay it really didn't can y'all see it got questions prayers um like but some a four out of ten it's like they rushed the book i feel like one is called over it um me and my friend had got this book as well together but it's by kes kesley graham i literally was reading this book Cause I'm like, you know what? In the moment I was like, I'm over it. Like, I'm just so over it. Like trying to meet all these expectations in life. It's a Christian book. All of these are Christian books. And she was just talking about like how it is have, being a wife, kids, um, having, like she was talking about how expectations push you to a breaking point. Um, she was talking about her walk with God. Like she talked about God a little bit, but like I said, I didn't finish the whole book, but from the like from what I read, she didn't talk about God as much. And I'm not saying that like a Christian book has to talk about God in every single sentence, but it just didn't really help me spiritually. Like this is probably a book I would read for fun, I guess, but not to grow spiritually. We're gonna move on to Sarita A. Foxworth. She is a Christian author as well. She, um, she's very good at, um, writing books. Um, I have a few of her books, not much, because, um, she don't have that many books, but she have a good amount, um, as a Christian author. So this is called The Single Woman's Prayer Book. It's very thin. Um, I read, I think I read, like, the first chapter, and she has like a little note page so you can write, I guess you can write your prayers. 
it's like I said, it's a really short book, quick book. If you want to learn how to pray, if you want to learn how to pray as a single woman, um, who got her book called How to Prepare for Your Future Husband Millennial Edition. I really like this book because she breaks down of how your Adam or your Boaz supposed to be. She breaks down not just of how your man of God is supposed to be. He's supposed to be like this. She actually breaks down of like what you need as a woman of God, what you need as a wife as well. She talks about your purpose. She um, asks you like questions. Um, she has little prayer things right there. You better take notes. You better get a, a journal with this book, sticky notes or whatever. Like I said, she got like blank pages in here you can write in. A smart dating roots for Christian women, biblical wisdom and guidance for love and relationships. This is the thickest book she has or well that I have. This book compared to this book, you see, it's not as thick. And then the single, the other one, you see. So this one is really, um, I just started reading this one. I only read one chapter. I've been avoiding reading like Christian dating books because I, I I used to feel like if I read these books I'm gonna start to desire to get in a godly relationship and I don't know if I'm ready for that but God told me that it's okay to like this is preparation just because I'm reading a book on Christian dating and how to prepare for my future husband it does not mean I'm ready to be a wife like literally right now it does not mean that I'm ready to hop into a godly relationship it does not mean any of that it just means that I'm putting myself in position. I'm putting myself in, like I'm getting prepared and I'm receiving the biblical wisdom and the resources that God gave me. Your main source is God, but this like, like this book is a resource. Sarah Jakes Roberts, No Woman Left Behind Journal. She has a lot of visual in here, a lot of pictures. I'm sorry if I'm rushing through now. A lot of visual, a lot of pictures. Get this book. I love Jesus, but I want to die. This book, I know, it's, <laughs> I know it's crazy. Like I know the title is crazy, but if you're battling depression as a Christian, if you're battling in your mind, anxiety, whatever, this book is a good book. I'm almost finished. Like I'm right here, and this is how much I read. This is how much I got left. Okay. So she, whew, this about made me cry. Like. I haven't finished it because like I said, it do give trigger warnings and I battle with depression and my, um, while, you know, like literally last summer I was battling with depression. Um, and she talks about suicide and just finding hope in the darkness and God saved her life. Like you have to read this book. God really saved her life. Almost made me cry. I just got this book from Kel Mitchell. Y'all, tell me why I did not know this is the guy from Kenya and Kel. He is a Christian and he uses biblical references. This is a devotional, by the way. He used biblical references. It's a very good book. It's called Bless Mode by Kel Mitchell. It was 20% off, so you know I had to get it. But, um, wow. He don't act anymore. He chose to follow God's path and now he's a youth uh, minister um wow I'm just wow like you know usually like celebrities like it's just great to see like a celebrity like give their life to Christ um to realize that there's so much more to life that God wants us to be, be able to tap into and most importantly is a relationship with him and it's like he did that you know and he didn't let the fame and the popularity and all of that uh, draw him away from God. This book is called The Prayer Woman Journal. I'm pretty sure if you're a Christian, you've probably seen this journal before. It's like if you type in Christian journal on Amazon, like this is going to pop up. So yeah, it just gives you like little notes um, to help you pray and reflect on God's word. Bow. That pretty much wraps up my episode. Like I said, I have all of these books right here. So I'm pretty much done. Like this episode, or I said episode, sorry. I'm so used to doing a podcast. But that, that wraps up my video. And I thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for staying tuned. 
I pray that y'all have a blessed day and love you. God bless. That's a man for the lost and the least Where they done with the king Waiting for me